you may be wondering why in the hell am I working seven night shifts in a row. Let me explain myself. Let's back up and start from the beginning. When I first got hired as a new grad registered nurse in the emergency department, I got hired on as a position called variable. And what this means, which I didn't fully understand at the time, I don't have a set pattern, so I don't work the same three night shifts in a row. Every time that our schedule comes out, which I believe it's every month and a half, we get like a full schedule, I can kind of be working different shifts. I really don't know what I'll be scheduled. Everybody's preference is obviously different, what they like to work, how many days off they like to have in between shifts, but night shift is especially hard because your first day off doesn't fully feel like a day off. And I'm gonna get back to that point in a second. So this interesting pattern that I've gotten occasionally is I'll work three night shifts, which is what I'm about to do. So I'm going to be working Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then I have one shift off Sunday. And then I'll work another three night shifts, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So it's three on, one off, three on. So I followed my schedule before in the past and I've taken that Sunday off, which just feels truly pointless for me personally because on sunday which is your day off i'm getting off at seven in the morning right and then i'm going home i'm sleeping and then sunday night is my day off you best believe i'm not being productive in any way shape or form i'm not doing anything i'm just being lazy because it's well deserved and i'm also just so exhausted and tired that i'm probably just going to be watching tv eating some yummy food calling it a night, going to sleep, waking up, and then going back to work Monday evening. So I know, personally, it's not like I'm going to be productive on that Sunday and get anything done anyways, so I might as well just pick it up because that shift is available. There are a lot of incentives going on at the facility that I work at right now, which makes it very desirable to pick up extra shifts, and I don't know how long these incentives will be going on for. Also, I'm not really going to be picking up many shifts this summer because I really just want to enjoy it and not overwork myself. <sighs> Does that make sense? So I'm picking up this Sunday because it's not like I'm gonna do anything anyways and I might as well make a little bit of extra money because following these seven night shifts in a row, I have like over a week off. I'm going camping with my family. so. I'll have plenty of time to rest, catch up on sleep, be outside with camper, with my family, spend some time in the good outdoors. So I'm doing it. <laughs> We're going to work. We're working at seven night shifts in a row. I need to head out. I'm going to take camper to my parents because they will be watching him for me the next seven nights i'll obviously pick him up when i get off of work so we're gonna go do that i'm gonna drink the rest of this iced coffee i'm sure you can find this anywhere because it's starbucks it is their cold brew vanilla sweet cream i didn't add any cream or anything to it it is so yummy so tasty only 90 calories in a glass and it tastes so good it's not too sweet that's a big thing not too sweet just like that perfect perfect little amount so I'm gonna drink this. I'm thinking about maybe taking this whole bottle to work and just like leaving it there so I have it for the next seven nights. I have my lunch packed, my bag packed with my stethoscope, water bottle, my trauma shears, a jacket, all the things. We are going to be having a really, really great week and I'm excited to be bringing you guys along for it. Camper, say hi. <laughs> around eight in the morning my eyes are glazed over because i am so tired i feel like the first shift of your like night shift stretch is the hardest because you're fully having to adjust to being awake at a time where most sane and normal people are not awake so first night is usually the hardest for me when it gets easier 
I had a really good day at work though. Um, I was the breaker, so I was able to give my fellow coworkers their allotted 15 minute breaks and their lunches and I like it because it allows you to kind of float around the department and see everything that's going on. It was a really good day, but we had a lot of sick patients. We weren't super busy. Like our lobby wasn't packed full. I think we had maybe 15 people in the lobby when I got to work, but we had a ton of critical patients. I think I went up to the IMCU, which is the intermediate care unit. So stepped down from ICU five times. I brought five patients up there and that was just me. There was a lot more patients going up to the more critical floors. So mm, when we get those types of patients in the ER, mm, <laughs> it's scary for me personally because it's not something I'm used to and they typically have a lot of drips. They're just obviously more unstable. Their acuity is just higher and you really have to pay closer attention to them and just really be aware of what you're doing, why you're giving medications, just assessing them quite frequently. Anyways, that was our first night shift of our seven night shift stretch. I'm getting like a second wind in me right now though because I came home to a lovely, lovely package, you guys. Oh my goodness. I am so excited and I will not let my tiredness get the best of me. We are opening this up and I am putting these sheets on my bed this morning so I can have a wonderful sleep. Let me open this up together with you guys. I received this package from a company called Brooklinen. If you don't know what Brooklinen is, they are a luxury sheet company, although they sell a lot more items other than just sheets. They have bath products, home products, robes, all of the things that you could possibly need. But I think one of their biggest selling points are their sheets their duvet covers, and that is for a good reason, which I'm so excited to share with you guys. Obviously, it is so important to invest in good quality sheets that get softer with each and every wash because we spend such a large portion of our lives in our bed sleeping. You have to be well rested to, I think, simply be happy, to have a well-balanced life, to have a good quality of life, to be in the moment. I mean, I just think sleep is obviously related to so many different aspects. In fact, all aspects of our life, which is why it's so important that we invest in our sleep. <sighs> wow. I think the packaging is just beautiful. Like this would be an amazing gift to give to somebody. So I got the Brook Linen Luxe Bundle. They are satin sheets and pillowcases open this guy up here oh wow and i got this beautiful green color oh, i figured it'd be so pretty in my room with some of my plants okay so we got some pillowcases right there and we got our sheets here oh my goodness this is so exciting that's how you know you're fully adulting when you get excited over sheets oh my gosh Wow, this is such a beautiful color. We have the fitted sheet and then the top sheet here. And then I got a duvet cover as well. And I decided to switch it up and go with this cream color um, just because I wanted to add a little bit of like depth to my bed and not have it just be one color, kind of spice it up a little bit and I figured these two colors together would just be really classy and, and pretty, honestly. So this will go over my duvet. I have a nice white fluffy duvet and I'll just put it inside of this. Oh my gosh. I have an idea. Even though I need to go to sleep right now, we're going to make my bed together and I'm going to sleep in these sheets like now. I'm going to go take a shower first and then we will strip my bed, remake my bed, 
and get some rest and I'll tell you guys what I truly think of them in the morning. Before I head in the shower, I wanted to show you guys how you have the ability to mix and match over 20 different colors and patterns with these Brooklyn and Sheet bundles. Kind of like what I did, but there's so many other options. I love how you can customize your sheets to exactly what you want add that personal touch throw in maybe an extra pillowcase whatever you need i also have something really exciting to share with you guys and that is a special discount code to get you guys 20 dollars off any order over a hundred dollars just simply click the link below and enter my promo code sierra lynn I just got to work. We are heading into night shift two out of seven. I slept like a freaking baby last night. And in fact, Camper slept with me the entire time too, which is totally abnormal because I feel like he gets so hot in my bed that he quickly leaves me to sleep on the cool hardwood floor however i've never had satin sheets before and i feel like they're really cooling like they don't get too warm which is perfect for summer because it's so stinking hot so ugh, i slept so well i love them although when i woke up this morning or this afternoon i guess you could say i did realize like in the midst of me being a half asleep and then also so excited for my box and to put my sheets and my new duvet on my bed I didn't even think about washing them first. I just put them straight on my bed. So I'd probably recommend washing them first, you know. So when I woke up, um, I threw them in the wash and they're in the dryer right now. So they will be waiting for me when I get home and then I will remake my bed. I didn't even think about that. I was just so excited for them. Anyways, we're gonna head into work. It's going to be a great shift. It is beautiful out. And it's also Memorial Day weekend, so I know <laughs> it's going to be a little bit crazy out here, but it's going to be a good shift. Good morning. I actually slept pretty good, although I did get woken up. Because <laughs> you know when you're like in the midst of sleeping and then something wakes you up and you're like unaware of your surroundings for a hot second? Um, there are people in my house because my dryer stopped drying, which you don't realize how fortunate you are until you have lack of something. They came and fixed that today, luckily the perks of renting and not owning so I didn't have to pay for it. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but thank goodness they were able to come and fix that. And um, yeah, I'm appreciative of that. I'm just getting ready. I put on some vitamin C serum. I have my moisturizer and then I'm gonna put on some glow screen and do a little bit of makeup. But hopefully it's a good shift filled with learning and yeah, I am excited for what 
the day has in store. And let's head to work, you guys. We're going in the shift three out of seven, baby. I'm off work. Today was fucking horrible. Um, yeah, I. It was a horrible day. Um, not for any other reason besides a patient situation that I had. I work with amazing people. I have supportive coworkers, helpful. But, um, I just haven't seen anything, like, I guess I just haven't had a really, really sick patient in a long time. I haven't seen anything really, truly devastating like I did today. And I think the hardest thing is that you can have a patient come into the ER talking totally with it you're having conversations with them and then they can just decompensate so quickly and be so sick so fast and be diagnosed with something that's they're going to die you're spending their last couple moments with them holding their hand also trying to like be a nurse and like do what she needed to do for them this is a really hard job it's fucking devastating the things that you have to see you just never ever know what's gonna happen when it's your time you just never know you could be doing yard work one day two days later you end up in the hospital had a really hard day <laughs> I say I had a hard day but I can't imagine that patient's family is having a really freaking hard day <sighs> and you know what the worst part of it is is that <laughs> like I hate to admit this but I'm just going to be real I feel like I've continuously tried to be real on my YouTube channel sharing my experience with nursing but I've almost been in the ER for an entire year and I am so used to people being in pain like I remember first starting off I haven't even been a nurse for that long but I remember first initially being a nurse and people like telling me they're in pain like moaning in pain screaming being upset in pain and I like couldn't handle it like I needed to resolve that immediately and now after I've been around it so much I'm like desensitized from it like when somebody's in pain I kind of try to weed through like you know what what what's pain that we can actually help with is this chronic like there are things sometimes that are more important than necessarily resolving the pain in that moment things that may be more important um to treat the patient i guess i don't know and this patient was in so much pain i knew he was in pain and i was like we'll we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it this patient had a ct scan i wasn't going to go with them and they <laughs> asked like aren't aren't you are you my nurse you're gonna come with me right and I was like, okay, sure. I guess if anybody asked me to come with them to imaging, I, I would, but I wasn't going to. And I'm so glad I did. But I feel guilty for, like, just kind of blo brushing it off, you know? Not taking the pain seriously. Not realizing what the hell was going on. And that I had somebody I'm having a conversation with that's literally dying in front of me. They have no idea that their life is about to end. so sad it's just fucking heartbreaking it doesn't matter what age somebody is it's all painful to be around it's just painful to watch it's painful to be a part of and it's just so sad so just hold your loved ones tight and just 
just remember to be appreciative for what you have. And I'm just thankful that at least I can be there in those last few moments and be a part of that. But it's so hard to, but you have to continue doing your job. You still have all your patience to see it. Anyways, I am just going to drive home with silence because I think I need that after today. We got the goods, you guys. Bringing two of these babies to work. And then uh, since we are coming up on Memorial Day, I'm gonna bring you some of these cookies. These are so good. I got camper right here. He says, hi. <laughs> Anyways, we are heading into, ooh, look at that dust. <laughs> we are heading into shift of three, no, shift of four out of seven. Oh my god. I'll write my name on this so nobody drinks out of this one, but I think I want a sip of it right now. Let's see. This is seriously so good. Don't judge me. I'm gonna put it in a cup of ice, okay? Cheers! We did it, you guys. Oh my goodness. What a day. It is 7, 11 in the morning. My shift is officially over. You guys, I had such a busy shift that I didn't have to, first of all, and didn't have time to drink my energy drink because I was so busy. But in the best way possible, it was a really great shift. Today I had multiple traumas, so I feel like I've been getting really comfortable with the trauma charting and everything that goes in with having a patient that is a trauma activation. In fact, we have like these newsletters that come out at my work of um, just like overall trauma criteria that's met and this or that. And I received, well, <laughs> I didn't receive it. I cared for the most amount of trauma patients out of any other nurse for like a select period of time in the ER. So I think it was the past three months I had the most trauma activations. I feel semi comfortable with charting on them, but obviously are scary because this person is typically unstable. I'm just grateful and happy to be able to be a part of learning and caring for people and helping them and also just proud of myself for how far I've come, you know? I just got home. I didn't talk to you guys. I guess it was yesterday before my shift when I woke up because I woke up late. And thank God for something that I tend to always do, but I set an alarm for like obviously the time that I want to be up, but I set like a extra alarm around five-ish just in case I snooze my other alarms as like a final reminder and i woke up to the five o'clock alarm and i was like what the heck i don't even remember snoozing my other alarms and i know they had to have gone off because 
they were there visibly there so i must have just been so tired so i was in a rush to get ready for work and then i went to work and we were exceptionally busy <laughs> i take that back not exceptionally busy but consistently busy and it was just a long long night and <laughs> i've officially completed five night shifts in a row and i am feeling it i am really tired so two more to go baby we got this <laughs> i'll see you guys tonight for night shift six out of seven i cannot believe i'm saying now this is wrong with me Hello, we are heading into shift six out of seven. If anything, I'm learning that it's clearly possible to work seven days in a row, seven 12 hour shifts. Is it healthy? Probably not. This flavor, 10 out of 10, so good. I caved, you guys. I stopped by Taco Bell. <laughs> and I got some bean burritos that I am so excited to eat. It's basically my Friday. Tonight is my last shift. And these are well-deserved. And I was hungry. I look like an absolute hot mess right now, but it was a busy shift. A really good shift um, and right now I am wide awake so hopefully I can go to bed soon and we can head into our seventh night shift in a row It is ginger shot time. Let's see. I feel like these help with my allergies. I don't know if it's all in my head, but it definitely clears up my sinuses. I have found these at Trader Joe's, but I'm sure you can find these anywhere. Cheers. It burns, but like in a good way. We officially did it, kind of, I guess you could say. I just finished off with night shift, seven out of seven. I got off early, so it's 4.22 in the morning right now. So I got off like a couple hours early. I kind of said, hey, if we're slow and you need somebody to get off early, I'm your girl. And guess what? We were slow. Not initially, not initially in the beginning of my shift. We had multiple cardiac arrest um it was actually quite a busy shift and then people got discharged people got admitted and got sent up to the floors that they needed to be and i think by the time i left <laughs> i just found a little candy in my pocket these things are so good i need to focus right now by the time i left there was maybe five patients in the er so they definitely didn't need me there i am so happy to finally be done with seven night shifts in a row. It's gonna be a fabulous weekend. I'm camping with my family. I probably already told you guys that before. Can't for saying hi to me. I'm gonna go take a nice oh, ew. <laughs> ew. I don't know if you guys heard that. I'm burping in my hand. I'm gonna go take a nice warm bubble bath, relax, um, get a couple hours of sleep because I want to reset my schedule. So I'm thinking I will just sleep for like three or four hours, wake up, it'll be morning time, then I'll be up the rest of the day and try to go to bed at a normal time, like nine or 10 tonight. But I'll talk to you guys in the morning once I'm rested, fill you guys in on everything, how I felt after working an entire week in a row. Not for the faint of heart, I will tell you that right now. Good night. I indeed did not chat with you guys later. I'm sorry. 
You may be wondering if I would ever work seven night shifts in a row again. <laughs> well, still undecided, but never say never. Anywho, please enjoy these clips I took with my family on our camping trip that was much needed. And also, don't forget to check out Brooklinen's website to get $20 off any order over $100 with my code, Sierra Lynn.